I want to talk to you today about an object we have here in the Captain Cook Memorial Museum, the Cat and Nine Tails, otherwise known as the Cat. This is a particularly fearsome means of punishment that has left its mark on the back of many a sailor, but also onto the English language through a number of expressions that have been made about it. Formal floggings were administered ceremonially on the deck of the ship in front of all of the men. You could get 12 lashings for uh, striking an officer, 200 for desertion, 300 for mutiny, and 500 for theft, effectively a death penalty as no man could survive beyond 250. A new cat was made for every flogging and was kept in a red beige bag, hence the expression, don't let the cat out the bag. Now, the punishment was initially administered by a burly right-handed bosun's mate. And when he'd finished, halfway through, he handed over to a left-handed, equally burly bosun's mate, who continued, ensuring the particularly painful crisscrossing of wounds. And when they healed, uh, the scars would form a checkerboard pattern on a man's back. And so when you looked at it, you could see from his back, that man must have had a checkered past. Now the wounds, while they were healing, of course, were susceptible to uh, infection. And so they were rinsed very painfully in salt water as a crude antiseptic, hence the expression to rub salt into the wounds. Well, the use of the cat may well have stopped in 1870 in the Royal Navy, but as you can see, the expressions which it generated live today in the English language.